everybody what's going on welcome back to the second video in destination fishing if you haven't watched the first video already that kind of explains this channel be sure you go and do that or you can check out the about tab on my page uh, both of those will kind of explain what this channel is about and what I'm planning on doing with it but in that first video I promised a rod and reel review setup overview type thing so that's what this video is going to be about today I'm going to start off with my spinning combo I got here. So here's the spinning rod and reel I'm going to be using a lot during this video. This is the 2016 Shimano Ultegra 3000 HG. It's a really nice uh, spinning reel for the money. It retails for about 150 bucks. I was able to pick this one up at the Raleigh Fishing Expo back in January for like 100 bucks. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, I got the rod there too, but I'll get into that a little bit later. The reel has some pretty awesome features in it. First one is going to be Hagane gear. It's the Shimano's cold forged aluminum that supposedly is going to make it last longer, more durable, and feel really good uh, pretty much throughout the usable life of this reel. Um, so that's one of their big things. The other one is the core protect coating that they've put on the outside of it. What that core protect does is it'll actually beat up the water when it gets on there and keep it from getting inside your reel where it'll corrode any of those bearings or, or any of the moving parts in there. So that's a really nice feature, especially for saltwater anglers where the saltwater can do a whole lot of damage real quick. Um, so yeah, some of the specs on here, 35 inches per turn, 6.0 to one gear ratio, 20 pounds of drag, which is a really impressive number for a 3,000 size spinning reel like this. Um, I haven't been able to put that to the test yet because I haven't been doing much fishing here. It's been pretty cold still in uh, North Carolina. But five plus one bearings and eight and a half ounces without any line. The line I've got in here is 30 pound Power Pro braid. I believe Shimano said it'll hold almost 200 yards of that. So you can get a lot of line on here for a lot of different species of fish. Um, makes it real versatile. Now the rod I got is the Shimano X-Age. This is the six foot and eight model and it's a medium power, fast action. Um, I'm planning on using this mostly for freshwater, largemouth bass, and maybe a little bit of inshore, like for speckled trout, maybe even some reds, we'll see. But it's got their Fuji Alconite guides on there. Um, makes it really nice setup and then the hook keeper is actually in a weird place it's down here on the handle which is weird at first but when you're carrying this rod around a lot it makes a lot of sense especially if you got two rods I usually have to put my hand right here to carry both of them in the same hand with my tackle in my other hand so it makes it really nice that I can grab it right here and not get stuck by a hook uh, Right now I got this set up for just a little shaky head. I think it's a 3 8 ounce and a little zoom finesse worm right there. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing some fishing this weekend. Maybe pull something out with this thing, but we'll see about that. Up next I got my casting combo. Uh, the reel is the 2017 Shimano um, Corrado K. This is the 200 HGK. It's the 7.4 to 1 gear ratio. Um, one of the big things that they <coughs> changed up in this reel compared to the, some of the older Corrados, they put their micro module gear on there, which is a, they make the gears really small and put a lot more of them in there. So it's supposed to make it have a really smooth feeling. Um, I think it's a nice feature, but it doesn't, I can't really tell a huge difference. It feels, about as smooth as most other reels on the market do, honestly. Uh, but it's also got their proven SVS Infinity braking system. That system is really nice. You can dial it to exactly whatever lure you're throwing. 31 inches per turn, 11 pounds of drag, six plus one bearings, and then 7.6 ounces, so it's pretty light. Uh, Shimano states on their website that it has CI4, not really sure where or what. I think 
I thought I had read something somewhere that said this side plate was their special CI4 aluminum or something like that. But uh, yeah, so that's the reel. It sells for $179.99. Um, and then the rod I've got it paired up with is the Favorite Fishing Lunkers TV Edition Defender Series rod. This is their seven foot five, medium heavy, fast action. Uh, so you can really throw some heavy stuff with this. I think up to like one ounce or something like that. Um, it's a really nice rod. I've really enjoyed casting it and stuff so far. Um, I haven't caught anything on it. I just got this set up at Christmas and haven't been able to do much fishing yet. But like I said, hopefully this weekend will be, uh, me and a buddy of mine will be hitting one of the ponds and doing some fishing so anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh that's all i've got for you tonight but i really appreciate it uh if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below if you're not already consider subscribing and stay tuned for the next video appreciate it